What's going on, people of the internet? Lucked out again today. Got a nice little coho right here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna turn this thing into fish sticks and make the most delicious coho filet fish ever. So I'm gonna drive to McDonald's, I'm gonna buy a filet fish and, uh, and I'm gonna see what that looks like and try and make the same thing but better with coho salmon. So that's gonna be fun. Here it is, I'll see you there. Come on down, welcome for the circus. There's another fish. That one's a coho this time. Not too big. Beautiful wild, it's something. It's a fish on the end of my line. Focus more on the reel than I do on the fish. That looks like a coho. Wants to go up, I want to go back down again. Cooperative one. Oh, he is hooked good. Big old chum. Inbound, golden arches. Here we are at the golden arch. Gonna buy my first ever filet fish Not sure quite how to feel about it, to be honest with you. I'm happy I'm cooking my own one as well. But uh, never had one, never thought about having one, never thought I would have one. And now I am about to buy one. If they even sell them, if they don't sell them, it's gonna be pretty funny. We gotta buy a filet of fish figure out what's inside. And then after that, we'll go to the grocery store and, and buy what we need. But here we go, we're ripping into the, uh, the McDonald's drive-through here. I never, I never thought I'd say these words. I never thought I would do this. It's happening. Craziness. Hi there, what can I do? Hey, can I just get uh, one filet of fish please? Awesome, thank you. $6.19, I should have made that a meal. That's expensive. What? That's more expensive than probably all the ingredients will cost. Good, good God, I hope it is absolutely, uh, it's an absolute gourmet delight. That's it, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Just a filet of fish. Even the way she said it, she was thinking, why is this guy just getting one filet of fish? <laughs> okay. I'm a little bit nervous. Like, I feel actually nervous. Awesome, thank you. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Inbound. Out of the press here. Let's see what we got. Bike put my car in park. Six dollars and nineteen cents Canadian for this right here. What does it look like? I can smell. Okay, we've got an extremely small bun and. A whole dollop of tartar. That looks, yeah, that tartar looks kind of nice. And a very skinny piece of fish and a, a triangle. <laughs> a triangle of cheese. That fish is like the size of my pinky finger. And that little bit of cheese is uh, like, I don't know why they didn't put a full, a full slice. It is very small. That piece of cheese is just about nothing. The fish is like mainly breading, so. I'm probably gonna end up making mine a little bit different than this, given what I can find. Worth $6.19, I don't know, it better taste really damn good. We're gonna go to the grocery store quick. Scan your first item. Yes. There it is. <laughs> looks, looks so very appetizing. So we're gonna replicate this. I got the ingredients from the grocery store in this bag, so we're gonna pull the ingredients and we're gonna get started on this, see how it goes. We got a bun. A bit bigger, much nicer than this actual filet of fish bun. We got some delightful craft singles. Here's our piece of fish. We're gonna get that all prepped. We got the tartar. We've got the uh, we've got some flour. We've got the panko all crushed up, and we've got some eggs. Here's the filet of fish, and here is my filet of real coho salmon. So I'm gonna get this filet of coho salmon all skinned up. So I'm gonna cut the skin off. Gotta get rid of the skin. Crack it. There we go. And a couple of shells in there. Gives it that extra bit of crunch. Put 
egg nice and mixed up. And I know it's whole wheat flour, but it's all I have. So you're gonna dip it just lightly in whole wheat flour, just to kind of get a bit of flour on it, cover it, kind of just dust it with the flour. There we go. And you take the egg like this that you whisked up and you soak that fish up. So it's got flour and it's got egg on it now. And the final step here, once it's nice and wet with the flour and egg, you drop it into that panko. So you get the panko on each side, get that thing nice and covered up. I might not beat McDonald's in this one. And we throw it in and it should fry for us. But like I said, I'm no, I'm no chef. So we'll do this little piece too. Chuck it into the mix. I think it's getting golden. I hope so. Oh, I think it's actually frying. You're kidding me. Unreal. Oh, that's hot. Watch my eyes. My piece of fish is much bigger. I could almost use the small one, which actually might end up being more gold and brown. Fish is done, so we're gonna give that a try. It's cooked. It's breading. It's really delightful. It's a very, very complicated sandwich. I brought Kraft Singles because I wanted, you know, keep it pretty close to what they're using at McDonald's. I'm sure they say they're using real cheddar, but something like this. It looks like they did. It looks like they took a lot of time and were really careful with that piece of cheese. They just kind of threw it on there. So <laughs> maybe we'll do a full slice. They did a half slice. We'll do a full slice of cheese. The cheese was on the bottom, the fish was in the middle. We'll use this big slice. Look at that. Coho cooked perfectly. There we go. There we got the slice of coho right in there. And then all they do is on top, a big dollop of tartar. And we're on a Kaiser bun. So there we go. Let's load that tartar up. I love tartar sauce. All right. Pop it on. So there we go. Here's McDonald's filet of fish. And here is my coho filet of fish. I mean, you can say in the comments what you think's better. They don't look too far off, honestly, but we're gonna give them a try. Here's a coho filet of fish made by yours truly with the fish I got from the river. And here's a McDonald's filet of fish. And we're about to try them and see which one is better here. So I'm gonna take the first bites, honestly, of, uh, of this one I slaved over. It's in a bigger Kaiser bun. This one is a smaller egg bun. So we're gonna give it a try. Simple, but effective. That coho salmon's really nice in there. First bites, I'm loving it. As you can see there, got that bit of sauce coming out of the top. That's delicious. Now time for my foot. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that's not so good. Not too many rocks, five second rule. Now time for my first ever McDonald's filet of fish. So we'll give that a try. Hotty, tastes like McDonald's fries. So far, the McDonald's filet of fish Tastes more pickly, the tartar sauce they're using. The fish is really thin. I'm getting that McDonald's flavor, like you know the smell of McDonald's? I can taste that smell while I'm eating this. This one, freshly made by me, it's surviving a bit better. That cheese is, is melting pretty good in the bottom there. And it tastes real good. I think I won this battle, I really do. I thought I was gonna lose. The extra little drop in it on the ground, extra little bit of something something, that was good too. Sorry McDonald's. I don't think I'll ever buy a filet of fish. I think it was my first ever filet of fish and my last one. Sorry to all you filet of fish lovers out there. Not the biggest fan. <laughs> Lots of people walk around now probably thinking, what's this guy doing? I'm gonna finish these uh, these two sandwiches up here. Fresh coho homemade, caught from the river filet of fish sandwich. That's the winner in my books today.